back to another video. Today we're talking about my new Hisense Roku TV. This is the R6 series. It's a 58 inch, weirdly, uh, 4K Ultra HD TV with HDR10, Dolby Vision, DTS sound, and it's got the typical Roku built in. It's kind of a weird size with the 58 inch. I haven't really seen a whole lot like this. Usually you go 55 and 65, but. I've got no issues with it. It was priced very reasonably. I'll have a price linked at the time of filming, and then I'll have a link to where you could buy it if you want to down below. I believe it's a Walmart exclusive. That's where I found it, at least. I didn't see this particular size or model anywhere else, but I've seen the R6 series in a couple of places. This is similar to the TCL TVs. Hisense and TCL are two competitors, sort of, but I believe that TCL actually makes the actual panels for the Hisense TVs, and they're very similar in a lot of ways. All right, once we get it out of the box, it's actually very lightweight compared to my uh, other TV, which is an LG B series, which is extremely heavy, 65 inch, and it's a little bit lighter than the TCL 55 inch. All right, it comes with the feet not attached to it, and it's packaged pretty well, but there was some damage, as you can see on mine. This actually came this way when I went to go pick it up. They said, not if it doesn't work, they could return it within 30 days. So I just went with it. Uh, very small bezels for the price and very light, like I said, but it's not necessarily a good thing because it's mostly plastic, but I'm mounting it on the wall in a very small mount, so I don't mind that. In the box, you get the remote, some screws for the feet, batteries, quick start guide. Let's go ahead and put the feet on first. You're going with just these two screws and there's a little notch so you can't put them in backwards. You can put them in closer together or further apart depending on what your TV stand will accommodate. Obviously the further apart is a better option for more stability. Most of these cheap TVs have the same sort of mounting system because it's a cheap mount to make and manufacture. Stands up pretty stable. Take the rest of the foam and the protective plastic off. So this is a pretty well-reviewed TV on Walmart's website and on Google. The main issue people seem to have are just dead on arrivals and then getting some kind of dead pixels after a little while. So the current price as of filming is $278 and for a TV of this style, size, and 4K abilities, it's a really, really good deal. I mean, the step up alone is going to be another $100 for the next size up. But for $178, you could go down and get a 40-inch if you want to. Uh, it is a, it's a smart TV. All right, here's what it's got on. You've got a headphone jack, the reset button, the antenna in, optical audio out, three HDMI ports. One of them is an eARC, a USB, and a Ethernet jack. RJ45, and then the typical RCA on the back. So going to getting on for the first time, it's pretty simple. So you, you turn it on, it'll give you this message once you get the internet connected. Go into Roku's website, you enter in this code on your either phone app or on the Roku website, and it will automatically upload all of the apps that you typically use on your any other Roku TV that you have. And I have another one, so this makes it very simple for setup. And then it prompts you to go set up some any kind of receivers or Xboxes that you have. I've got to have this set up with a receiver, so I have to get everything all connected. And once you have everything set up, it'll play this Roku TV intro video that I'm not going to watch. I'm going to go check one of the services here. So it doesn't automatically log in for you, which would be a super awesome feature if they would do that. So you don't have to go through and log in with all of your services because I have like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, Motor Trend, a couple others. And if it would pre-log on for you, that'd be awesome. But it does not do that, unfortunately. All right, so this is something I'd call it as its competitor. This is the TCL. I believe this is a Series 5. So I... To my eyes, the colors on the TCL look better than this. And, and if you notice, if you pause it and look in the corners, the brightness isn't quite even. It's hard to, 
tell in person. It's not bad, honestly, for the price. It's a fantastic TV, but the TCL just has better colors, but it does have thicker borders. This is also a little bit of an, about a year older TV. Viewing angles are fantastic. As you can see, it's a bit thicker. It's got the same port layout pretty much and also the same wall mounts. So here are the remotes though. The TCL seems to have a much better remote than the Hisense. They've got different buttons just because of the when they're made. The TCL is about twice the weight almost. It also has a headphone jack on the side, which is a feature I didn't use that much, but I would definitely like to have it on there. It would be nice to have. Um, the buttons are pretty much the same other than that, except there's on the Hisense there's a sleep function instead of the search function. Once you have it mounted, one thing to note, because the mounting holes are so close, you may not be able to access your RCA if you still use that for whatever reason. But this is the mount I chose to go with so I can move it around and watch it from anywhere in my living room. That's it. Thanks for watching.